welcome to my workshop. My name's Darren. Yes, I've been away for a little while. It's been pretty hot here. We've had a series of heat waves and I've been building some projects that I needed the workshop for, so didn't really have the space for making videos. Anyway, without further ado, let's move on with this one. And so here it is. I finally filled the gap at the back of the drawer. Let's take a closer look at that, shall we? There it is the Blue Spruce Toolworks chisel plane. Let's take a closer look. Now the first and most obvious thing you'll notice is this is very different from your standard chisel plane, like one of these. And I think that's a good thing because the old standard chisel planes you needed to adjust the height of the blade, whereas this blade is always flush with the surface because the blade is on the surface. It's made out of cryogenically treated A2 steel for the blade and that forms the not only the blade, but also the sole of the chisel plane. So it has no choice but to glide nice and smoothly along the surface. We've got an aluminium anodized body, and I believe this is a maple handle here. Uh, being outside of the US, I'm limited to the one style of wood. If you're in the US, there's a range of wood you can choose from, but they're not allowed to ship them outside of the States. So there you are, this is what we have. No complaints though, there's nothing wrong with that handle, it's a nice handle. And it's a nice chisel, it is really nice to use. Sharpening is very straightforward, there's a little allen key on the underside here, so if we just undo that allen key, there we are. That lifts off, you can see there's a second pin at the top that holds the blade aligned. So when you want to sharpen it, of course you remove the blade, and you would sharpen it like you would do any other plain blade. And the bevel on the blade, there you go. 25 degrees. So fairly standard sort of bevel. You should have no problem sharpening to that. Now the purpose of a chisel plane is to cut things flush with the surface. So you can see here I've got a bit of stain and varnish stuck to my workbench and I can just grab my little chisel plane here and there you go straight off easy as that. No scratching or anything. Did it again and there you are there's the the bits it's taken off and not a scratch on the table left behind. So prior to having a chisel plane, what I used to have to do was basically grab a normal chisel and try and lay the blade of the chisel flat on whatever I was working on and work forward from there, like so. But the problem with that is the handle. If you are in the middle of a work table or in the middle of a project or whatever, you can't lie it flat because the handle gets in the way. And if you grab an old one and take the handle off, you're still going to have a little bit of flare here on the chisel, which is still going to stop it from lying flat. So I assume that most people have been doing exactly the same thing I've been doing over the years, and that you turn the chisel the other way up, and you scrape that way. And it works, and it worked beautifully for years for me. But of course, if you lift the chisel slightly too high, you dig in. If you drop the chisel back too low, it doesn't cut. Obviously, I'm exaggerating these movements here. So that's one of the places this shines. And of course the other one is space. Look at the length of a chisel compared to the length of a chisel plane. So if you want to get something into the bottom of a drawer, into the corner there where the two pieces of wood meet, the chisel plane's going to fit. All right, let's give you a real world example of how this trims. So I'm gonna just drive a dowel into a piece of wood here. There we go. I won't bother gluing it for now because that'll only make this all take longer. Right, I am going to use my flush cut saw, but I'll leave a bit sticking up so we can see the difference here. What shall I use as a spacer? Two mil. Two mil's not much. Here we go. There we go. So we've definitely still got a piece of dowel sticking up there. Let's try and take it flush. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to move all the way around it and just score it with the edge of the blade. Why? This helps stop breakout. Because if the fibers are already cut on the edges, they can't tear. That's the theory and it nearly always works. All right, let's take this off now. Now normally you wouldn't leave this much sticking up, it would just be a tiny nub, 
because you'll have cut it flush with your flush, tra flush <laughs> trim saw already. But there we go. There we go. Look at that. And that is a beautiful little flush trim there. Let's bring you down. Get a closer look. And there we are. You can see that's, that's a beautiful flush finish there. That's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Now there's a good reason I picked this chisel plane over a more standard type. In fact, I'd been looking for something like this for years because the more standard type is more like a standard plane and has an adjustable blade at the front of it that you have to adjust to the right height. Again, if you adjust that blade a little bit too low, it digs into the work. Now don't be fooled like I was for many years thinking that a chisel plane is pretty much a one trick pony. I haven't shown you a lot of what it can do today because I just don't have the examples at hand to show you. But in the short space of time I've had it, which is a bit over a month now, I've found it really useful for just times when you just want to get something sharp into an area that's small and flush with a surface. I've used this for trimming a little piece of moulding where two pieces of moulding met at a um, mitre. One was ever so slightly higher than the other and I was able to come in and just trim that edge down until they were flush. It was a small thing, possibly could have done it with sandpaper, possibly could have done it with a chisel, but it was easier with this. Anywhere where you want to get a sharp edge into a small area to trim something up flush, this thing really shines. I wish I had bought one years ago, I really do. Um, but this wasn't available years ago, we were stuck with the old standard boring ones. Now I'm not suggesting that if you've got an old standard chisel plane, you should get rid of it and get one of these. Not at all. If you're happy with what you've got, great, keep using it. But if you've been putting off getting a chisel plane, get one of these. They're awesome. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully that's been of some help. Have a great day. I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.